For a virus to jump from animal to human, it has to find a piece of biological machinery shared by both the animal and the human cell. Like you often see with viruses and other parasites, they evolve to co-opt these common cellular mechanisms, and Ebola has done just that. Kartik made a groundbreaking discovery. Ebola relies on a protein called NPC1 to infect cells. NPC1 is found in both bat and human cells. Bats and humans may seem very different, but their cells use remarkably similar molecular machinery. Most viruses that infect bats can also jump to humans. All a virus has to do is find those common keys. So, I mean, I think it's a probability thing. The more closely related you are to another organism, the more likely you are to, to pick up a virus. A virus that turns human beings into violent, unconscious monsters already exists. Rabies. People that have rabies go through a phase where they're highly violent and belligerent and they can form at the mouth. And these are changes that are clearly seem to benefit the virus in terms of its ability to spread from one infected host to a, a, a naive host. A rabies infection does not spread easily from person to person. But if a virus like rabies mutated to have influenza-like properties, it could spread like wildfire. <coughs> the infected would mistake it for a common cold. Until it's too late. <coughs> and they fall into a mindless rage. They would become violent and attack without warning. Open wounds would benefit the virus. It would easily transmit through airborne particles. Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. New episode, Wednesdays at 10 on Science.